Hey guys, Colin from Trail Trash ADV doing a little review of the Griffin Cabot waterproof leather glove. We're going to talk a little bit about what works, what doesn't, and what you should probably use it for. So, full disclosure, Griffin Moto did send these gloves for review. I've used them for about four months now, including in some torrential downpour. Highway pounding. And off-road mud adventures. Oh, that is properly deep, but that was not the right time to come in behind him. So, First things first, how much do these bad boys cost? Well, there are two versions. One has a waterproof liner, and that clocks in at $130 Canadian. And there is a version without a waterproof liner, and that comes in at $110 Canadian. So this leads me nicely along to my first criticism, and this is of every single glove that has a liner in it. And that is that the liner has a tendency to get bunched up to come out when you try and remove your fingers from the glove and to make it really difficult to get your hands back into the glove if you've taken it off and it's still damp or wet. The one thing that is good about it though is a waterproof liner works. It works really well. If you are sweating heavily and you take this glove off on the trails, give it 10-15 minutes, it will be bone dry by the time you go put it back on, which I was really impressed with. Um, and in the heavy, 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 heavy torrential downpour, that Jeff and I found ourselves in when we went to New Brunswick to Martin's Head a couple of weeks ago. That was the only time I've ever had water actually soak through. And whether the water was actually soaking through or just going around my whole glove and then coming down my arm was debatable. There was so much, there was so much rain, it could have been anything. Uh, anything short of PVC was not going to keep anyone dry on that trip. So waterproofing actually works quite well. I wish the liner didn't bunch up as much, but little things ultimately. Let's talk a little bit about the break-in period. So initially, they feel a bit snug, um, but the gloves quickly broke in, and Griffin Gear states that they use top grain leather for their gloves. So what that means for us as people who don't talk leather and material and workmanship and stuff, is that they use the best leather that's available to them for the construction of their glove, and it's evident. The finish and the material and the workmanship are all excellent. As I've said, the inner waterproof liner does work. However, if you have to take off the gloves with sweaty hands, the liner will occasionally come out with your fingers and bunch up, making it difficult to get them back on if you're only stopping for a short little while. Now, like I said before, I was incredibly surprised at how quickly the gloves dry, even on cold days when I was riding off-road and my hands were quite sweaty. Uh, 10 or 15 minutes, those things were bone dry and it was like starting fresh. Uh, protection is superb. The fingers are touchscreen compatible and the tips work about as well as every other glove. So not that great, um, but anything that's touchscreen compatible, you know, it's hit and miss depending on if you've got a screen protector on or what kind of phone you have that kind of thing. I have yet to find a pair of gloves that actually works well with my touchscreen phone. So, should you buy them? I mean, if you're in the market for a glove and you're just looking for a really good all-rounder or something that you can put on for a five or six day trip and not have to worry about taking off, this is probably a glove for you. Now, if you're somebody who does a lot of off-road riding and you're more of a dual sport or dirt bike guy and like to hit the trails a lot, this may be a glove that you bring along with you, but pack in your, your saddlebag from when you're highway pounding, um, just because they are a pain in the butt to get on and off if you only have a really short downtime. Um, and they're just actually, they're really nice. There's no problem, they're too nice. Now, if you're a dual sport guy and you're just looking for the protection of a nice leather glove, um, you can always go with the, the version without the liner, which I think will satisfy a lot of people. And it's relatively cheap, it's a budget glove, it's 110 bucks, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can get for motorcycle gear these days for less than $150. So 
it's nice to see that Griffin Motors putting up a, a top quality product that is affordable and accessible to most of the consumer base. But yeah, that's all my gabbin for now. Um, thank you, Griffin, for providing these gloves for review. <laughs> we'll get back to you by the end of the summer with a review on the pants and the jacket that Griffin sent as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I try and give my honest opinion despite this being sent for free. Nothing drives me here than watching people on YouTube just spout, oh, it's so great, blah, 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 blah. I got paid to send, say this, I got sent this for free. No, this is my honest opinion, guys. It is a good glove. Would I buy one myself? Um, not right now, because I have probably four or five pairs of gloves that need to be destroyed first. But if I was in the market for a nice adventure style glove, yeah, I'd absolutely go for this, 100%.